Hey folks, welcome to Outdoors with Joe. Today we're going to take a look at a super nice little uh, PCP air compressor. Uh, this compressor was sent to me by uh, Fast to Buy uh, on Amazon. Uh, they have an Amazon site and uh, two, uh, two Auto, I believe is the way you pronounce it. So they have a website, twoauto.com, and uh, I'll leave a link to both of those in the description. And uh, I believe they have a Facebook uh, page also, so I'll leave a, a, a link to that. So, all right, now we got that out of the way. Uh, I spared everybody me opening the box and, and taking everything out. Uh, it comes with a compressor, as you can see. It comes with your fill whip. It comes with an AC cord and a super nice uh, manual that I'll show you here in a minute. Plus, it comes with some burst discs and uh, some more filters for your, for your uh, fill whip. We'll open that up first. Uh, this is just a small uh, filter. Uh, it's not very big. It's already got a filter in it. But I would suggest maybe getting a little bit bigger one. But but this will do. This will get the job done. And uh, let's uh, show you the manual. Let's see if we can't get a close up on that for you guys and gals. So let's see. Here's the manual. We'll thumb through it here just a little bit, really fast. Uh, this is written in very good English for all of us English-speaking people. I'll just thumb through it, and if you want, you can uh, pause it and check it out. Very, very, very well-written manual. So, that's the manual. Super impressed with the manual. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to what everybody wants to see. Uh, this is called, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, 2Auto. And uh, they have a website, like I said before, 2Auto.com. And uh, Amazon, they have an Amazon store, which is fast to buy. And uh, they shipped this to me from their Amazon store or Amazon. And it, I got it in two days. You know, it's super, super fast uh, to where I live at. It might be another day, depending on where you live at. But anyway, some of this stuff out of the way. Now this is AC or DC, so you can use it in your home, you can use it in your car. Um, super nice uh, alligator clips here, if I can get one off. If I can get them unhooked. You just unwind it, like so. I like how it comes with this. Now I have a, a half time spark that uh, when I bought that, it didn't come. It came as a, as a 12 volt unit, of course, because it's made to be portable. But if you want to use it uh, in, your, in your house, you're going to have to buy a, a, an ACE, uh, I guess we call it a power a, a adapter or a converter or whatever. But here's your cord, pretty long. I'd say that's probably, I don't know, maybe four feet long, maybe three and a half, four feet long. That's going to plug in into the front right here, into the little plug-in, and then uh, of course your uh, your AC is going to plug in here. Then you have your uh, comes with a uh, a fuse, and it does come with another fuse in the back. Uh, actually, there's two of them in there, uh, on and off button, and then your uh, burst disc is right behind this little brass uh, screw right here. So if, if for some reason uh, it'll, it gets too much air and uh, it'll pop that burst disc instead of uh, messing up your compressor. So you can just screw that out. Uh, take a little power needle and those pliers and take your old burst disc out and put the new in and tighten this back in. But uh, just snug it up. don't have to be tight. Uh, it is eighth of an inch. And these are eighth of an inch quick connect or quick disconnect or whatever you want to call them. Right there. And then... Uh, Depending on your rifle, if you have a built-in uh, fuel probe on your uh, air rifle, then this should just pop right on. Or if you don't, you can pop your fuel probe in here and plug it into your rifle. Thermometer down here tells you how uh, hot the unit is running. And a uh, fan, of course. And for your fan to blow through on this side. Now you can change the voltage I see on this. So it is set at 110 for my... Uh, from my country and uh, here's the best part I like about this you can you can set your PSI so if you're 
you're airing up uh, a 200 bar air rifle, you can set this at 2900 PSI, hook it up to your rifle, turn it on, and when it gets done, it'll shut itself off. So, not like my little hats on the spark, I've got to sit there and watch it. You know, I can't walk away from it. And, uh, but, but, you know, so I like this a lot better. I'm not knocking the spark, that's a good little air compressor, but I do like that everything in this is built down, the AC and the DC, everything's here. I don't have to buy anything extra. Now I do know with the spark, I think the spark is like $419. And then you're going to have to buy the, uh, the little uh, power supply, and that's another $60, $70. So that's like 500 bucks. You can pick one of these up on Amazon for $339. And if you got Prime, you can get free shipping. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do is I'm gonna, we're going to get this bad boy plugged up. Now, I do have an extension cord. A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't use an extension cord. Uh, you should come straight out of the wall. But I'm, just, but I'm thinking, what's the difference from using this, which is just kind of like an extension cord so I'm going to plug my extension cord up and uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and uh, I'm going to plug my extension cord up and I'm going to get my DB reader out and we're going to take a DB reading on this just to see how loud it is and then I'm going to take it over to my truck and we're going to hook it up with the uh, DC cables and just for the curiosity do a DB reading on that too see if there's any difference so anyway stay tuned folks uh, let me get the power cord and all hooked up, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, I got my uh, power cord, my extension cord hooked up. Now, I'm using a 12-gauge uh, extension cord. So, uh, But the, the main reason of using the power cord, extension cord, is I want to know if I can stretch a cord out to my, my shooting bench so I don't have to run back in the house or to run over and plug the unit back up to my truck to, to air up another air rifle or to recharge the air rifle that I'm shooting. So anyway, let's get plugged up. And as soon as you plug it up, it's gonna come on. So what I'm gonna do, let me unplug it, just so you can hear me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this up, and then we're gonna take our DB reader and I'm gonna set it for max. And then we're gonna turn it on, and then I'm gonna come over to, the, to my camera and I'm gonna show you the DB reading. So let's get it plugged up. Now I am right at it, so let me come over here and show it to you. Eighty three point five DB. Get it unplugged. All right, 83.5 dB. Now, I did try this on my truck earlier, but my engine in my truck is louder than 83.5, so it's like a 97, so I couldn't get accurate reading on the machine. So, But it, it sounded about the same, considering the truck was really loud, or, or louder than, than the compressor. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to, since the compressor wasn't pumping yet, I'm going to go get our air rifle. We're going to hook that up on the bench here, and we're going to take a DB reading with the air compressor, putting air in an air rifle. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, right, folks. Welcome back. I got out the uh, Hats On Hercules Bully 45 cal, which has a 5-liter tank on it. It's a big tank. So I figured that would be a, a good test for it. Uh, now, I, I degassed this rifle down to like 2 or 3 100 PSI, so I, I just really want to test it out. So my, my bottle was almost empty. I didn't want to go completely empty because I didn't want to have any trouble with it. But anyway, we're, we're all hooked up and ready to rock and roll. Now I'm going to turn the, plug the uh, compressor up, and then I'm going to hit start, and then we're going to do the decibel reading, see how loud it is. So we got our decibel reader, reader ready to rock. Plugged up. Let's just do a, a fan noise real quick again. 83.3. Now let's hit the start and get on with it. See how long it takes uh, to fill up this uh, Hercules Bully. And uh, I want to see if it stops like it's supposed to 
because I've got it set at 250 bar. So this gun takes 250 bar. So I've already got that set. So let's hit start. I'm gonna walk back away from it. I'm not gonna make you guys watch the whole thing, but I do have a timer back here set up so I'll know how long it takes. So I'm gonna let that run for a few minutes. I don't want to make the video any longer than I have to because I know we're already up in the minutes already. But I do want to show everybody how, how well it works or how it's supposed to work. almost up to uh, 500 PSI. I'm going to get you a look at it. I'm going to shut back up without making everybody too dizzy. Now I'm going to either speed this up or I'm going to edit it a little bit, but I'm keeping an eye on the time. So I might pause the video and come back and let you guys know how long it took. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's pause the video and come back when it's just about at 250 bar, then I'll, I'll start recording again. Be right back. All right, folks. We're coming up on just a little, about five and a half minutes. We're almost at 2,000 PSI. We'll let it get up a little bit further, and I'll be back. All right, guys. I know this is loud, and I apologize. I'm going to try to hold my hand over my mic. But we're almost there. I'm going to see if this cuts off. Once again, sorry for the that it's loud. Almost there. It should have cut off by itself. And there it cut off. Awesome. Let me get back in the frame here. It's not shaking everybody around too much. Let me unplug it. You should probably let the fan run a little bit to cool it down. But that was 34 degrees Celsius is the highest temperature it reached. I'm sitting there watching the temp go down. Uh, so 34 degrees Celsius, what is that, 92, 93, 94 degrees Fahrenheit? Yeah, let's uh, cut it off here for a minute so you guys can, guys and gals can hear me. Get back in the frame here. I'm trying not to make this video too, too, too awful long. Get it back a little bit. But there you have it, folks. I, uh... <coughs> Let me check the air rifle. Yeah, right on the money. <coughs> now we're just gonna let the pressure out. And we're good to take it off. So there we have it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
um, I was going to try show you guys with the uh, with the DC, which I tried that and, and it, it works just as good. And 34 degrees Celsius, guys. I'm out here in the hot sun. It's like 90 degrees out here, and it's still barely running in the in the 90 some degrees Fahrenheit. But I did try the uh, <coughs> I tried the uh, the alligator clips and DC volt, and it it works just as good. It might not run quite as fast as it does on AC, but it still does great. And that right there was just under 14 minutes. So it's like 13 minutes and 47 seconds. So that's just under 14 minutes. And this tank was almost empty. And this is a 5 liter tank that goes up to 250 bar. So just under 14 minutes. My, my, uh, hats on spark won't do that. It's not that fast. Anyway, folks, if you want to pick you one of these up, I'll leave a link below to the uh, website, and I'll leave an Amazon link, and I'll even leave a Facebook link uh, to Auto, and uh, it's from Fast uh, Fast Buy. And uh, anyway, awesome little compressor, and I know some of you guys are going to be thinking all these things are probably made at the, in the same place. The hat sign is not made in the USA either, so hopefully that's not a big deal to you. One thing I didn't mention, it's got a nice strap on it, and this does go up to 4,500 PSI. I should have said that earlier. But man, I'm out here sweating bullets. Anyway, 14 minutes to fill up my hats on bully. And uh, this bad boy's ready to go hunting or do some shooting or whatever I want to do. And the cool part about it is when I deplete all the air, I can just plug it up. If I'm just outside shooting, I can walk back in the house and cool down while it's doing this thing. Or, or I would more than likely do this in the house. Uh, it probably wouldn't run as hot in the house. But 34 degrees Celsius, 93, 94 degrees Fahrenheit, that's not a lot. But I don't want to make this video any longer than it has been. Check these out, folks. If, if, hey, especially if you're still using a hand pump. If you're still using a hand pump, I mean, you're in the dinosaur ages, man. you got to get you something like this. And, uh, but economical, $339.95 on Amazon. Uh, get on there and check them out, folks. Till the next time, have a good one.